Is everybody out? No, we have one with CPR in progress. They're all out. CPR in progress. Dramatic body camera video of an ice rescue on Lake Memphis Magog. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kiana Burks in for CAT. Police say four people fell through the ice over the weekend, including two children. Our Haley Morgan talks with first responders about the lessons learned from this incident. What was supposed to be a family outing on this lake turned tragic when an ATV fell through the ice. What happened to him? Go through the ice on the side by side. How long was he under? Newport police say this past weekend, a family, no stranger to Lake Mefermagog, fell through the ice in a side by side. Two adults and two children fell into the freezing water. One of those kids, a three year old, remains in critical condition after being underwater for what first responders say was up to five minutes. Newport police chief Travis Bingham says despite the cold, the ice can be unpredictable. There's about 13 inches of ice and spots on the lake. Uh, the spot where the side by side actually went through was about an inch and a half thick. So it just kind of shows like the various depths uh, on the lake right now with the weather, the winter that we've had, like it's just kind of the ice conditions are not great. Interim Newport Fire Chief Kevin Lacoste echoes Chief Bingham's concerns. So typically you would want to put these like around your neck like this to have them handy. Ice basically forms from the top down um, and, and it's just We've just not had good cold weather for any amount of time. We as firefighters basically treat all ice as completely unsafe. Chief Bingham is praising the bystanders that helped get the child out, saying the outcome could have been very different if they weren't there. I'm fortunate that, you know, the, the quick response from the bystanders that were there to help get the child out and start doing the, the right first aid uh, on this child, um, which I believe is the reason why this child's still alive right now. We reached out to the family for an interview, but under the current circumstances with their son, they declined. Reporting in Newport, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.